two, one. Okay, we're counting. Get the free flowing hair. Yeah. Got my cross. Got my anthrax rocking today. My mom bought this for me a couple years for Christmas. A couple years ago. She knows her son. No one knows her son better than a good mom. Today I'm going to talk about something real quick. And it's a quick fix. And I've seen other videos. Before I tried to fix it, I, I YouTube something. If it, it's not something I've ever done, I go on YouTube and type it in. And I will find something to help me. This one was about my Pelican. And it went out. They either go out or burn too fast. Shouldn't do it, but... Yeah. Zero do. $3.99, Gabe's. Six pack. Okay, here's what we're going to talk about today. It's my Crossman. And that other video with me shooting... That was a joke. I'm going to delete it. It, it was a joke. I, I should have just... I didn't really shoot myself. That was fake blood. I'm going to delete it. That was dumb. I thought I'd do something to try to get on Ridiculous or something, but... If, if I get on there, I want it to be real. I'm, I'm going to delete that after I put this up, as a matter of fact. But anyways... My Crossman. It's on safety. Big issue. Now, this is a pellet and BB gun <clears throat> see these aren't bullet shells they're shells but these are pellets that you put in the back of the shell the BB ones are different you put them in the front I don't, I don't have them with me but you know the thing you get 14 bucks uh, you get six for 14 whether you order BB or pellet which is pricey but they don't they last forever because all you do is you load the pellets in them problem I had the other day okay it's on safe well this part okay you see in there okay now up above this part where you put the, the CO2 is, is a pin that pierces it. Now, if here's an empty one, when you're putting it in, in it's in, and then there's the uh, the threaded. It looks like a key. It threads, and then it pushes this up in, and that pierces it, and then allows it to put CO2 into the gun. And there's a seal up there, so this don't leak. But what I didn't know. This, this gets really cold, and that temperature of the seal is different. It's warm, so the seal and that coldness can make the seal a little wonky. It might not necessarily break. It might expand or whatever. The other day, I shot a few shots, and it was with a fairly new CO2 cartridge. Well, not really cheap. But um, they should last longer than what mine were. And um, the next day it was completely empty. And then I went and put a new one in. And I put it in like usual. Started cranking. And it was blowing CO2 out. And it took me like a bunch of twists to get it to stop. I think it was like half empty by the time I got it in. So I tried again with another. I wasted it. But I wanted to figure out why. I thought maybe it was a bad CO2. And um, it did the same thing. So I said, I'm going to stop now and lay it down. Look at it up tomorrow. And that's what I did. Yesterday, I fixed it. But I didn't show a video on that. I did that. I did the other video with I, where I showed the black wax on the ESP guitar. Now, inside of here... I'm not taking the CO2 out because it's actually lasting in, in new. I've only shot it five times. Or six. six. And um, I'll show you something about that later. It's a good one. What I did with this is before I put the CO2 in, I had watched videos. And the guys, a couple, couple videos uh, were good. Not the same gun. This is the Crossman. Um, 
SNR uh, 357. It looks and it feels just like a heavy, real 357. That's why you can't get it in stores no more, because kids would be holding this thing and getting shot. People thinking it's a real gun. Feels as heavy as a real gun. Looks like a real gun. Someone's pointing at you. You see the shit. Look like hollow points. Before you put your new cartridge in, you don't have to take this all apart. You just take this piece off. It pops off real easy. I'm not going to pop it off though. Inside, there is a cylinder that is like that size of a nickel probably. And there's a slot on each side. Then inside the gasket and the pin that pierces. See the hole? Okay, here's that. Now, when you put this in, and you're turning, if you don't hold this while you're turning, this will turn, and with that turning, will turn the teeth on what pierces, where the air goes in. So when that pierces, it somehow brings it out longer, so it takes longer for your CO2 to reach the seal. Something I did not know. You think righty tighty lefty loosey well on this, one way pulls it out, one way pushes it in. And you want it in to like factory specs even better if you can get it. Because this part here, right here, this key with threads is what pushes. So when you put your CO2 in, pop it in and push it up with your thumb, hold it really tight, twist, and you should only need one and a quarter, one and a half twists, and it should only just be one quick. The other day, it was blasting air out before I could even get the thing. I had to twist it like five times. Okay, here's how you fix it. That cylinder I was talking about with a notch on each side, you take a big, long screwdriver if you have one, or anything, you shine a flashlight in, and if you can, then you take and line that screwdriver up. Then you can hold it, twist it back a hair to this way. Uh, it would be counterclockwise. That will pull the pin back and tighten everything back to specs. Then after you do that, get a little bit of PB Blast or silicone spray. Or any silicone spray. Just it has to be silicone spray. Not like WD-40 or... Other people were talking about using Vaseline stuff. You don't want that. That will clog up your... Even though the piercer hole is small, you don't want stuff getting in that before it pierces your cartridge. Okay, you turn back the, the, the nickel size where the cylinder is. It's one whole mechanism. It's the cylinder, the, uh, the gasket, and the pin that pierces the CO2 cartridge. After you do that, you put, you put the, just a small spray of uh, silicone. Usually you have the, ball, the can with the straw. Boop, one little one. Don't want it dripping out. Just enough to get a little bit on that seal. To basically, like, just keep it fresh and, um, you know, lubricated so that it doesn't crack up and, you know, leak in the future. But, another hack. And for this particular gun, it works. And I don't have it with me, but it's very easy to do. Very cheap to do. And, in fact, I think by doing what I did yesterday, and I'll show you, I'm not going to shoot it because I don't... I shoot outside in a certain area... And I only shoot when there aren't cars around um, parked because I don't, just in case something bounces because I hang it on the fence. I don't want nothing, if I, I don't miss, but if I did somehow backfire, you know, not backfire, but like ricochet, I don't want to hit anyone's car. I'm allowed to shoot here, I just, I am, I'm safe about it and I don't need to, I just do it a certain time. On this part right here. Yeah, where's the damn camera when you need it? There we are. Okay. See the hole. 
you see how thin that is. That's about eh, a quarter inch, maybe a little more than a quarter inch. You take the white plumber's tape, just a tiny bit, two wraps around and then a little bit, you want it over top where that thing pierces. And plumber's tape's really cheap. You can get like two for a, a at the Dollar Tree, like as a buck twenty-five tree now, but you can get like two of them for like a dollar twenty-five, and that lasts forever. Like you don't need a ton; you need like maybe an, an, not even an inch of this to wrap it around, like you know, two and a half times. But you got to get it over that, and then it stays tight. You push it up in, like I said, snugly. Twist that till it's just tight, but not pushing. Pull with your thumb, twist, tss, done. First time I heard this gun not hiss more, one second. That was like, like, dude. So I knew I had a complete seal, did not leak, nothing. Now today, I put my piranha pellets in, which are, they're killers. They're serrated at the ends, and um, they'll blast through. They're made for hunting, like, to really hurt something. Usually I use like pizza boxes and stuff like that. I've shot cell phone, old cell phones and stuff. I go about 15, 20 feet back, hang out on my fence. I make my own targets. Now this is a different one and I surprised myself. I think the gun is more powerful than when I got it. I think I modded it better. It didn't have this much power before, and I'll tell you why. Here's what I shot at. Zip tie. Put a target. Uh, this is about... Mmm... Eighth, eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of wood. Probably more of an eighth, but this is... This is the back of an acoustic guitar that someone broke and threw away. I kept the rest for some parts, and, um... I knew this would come in handy. I wanted to see how powerful that was. So I drilled a hole here, zip tie, little target on there, and then just wood. But you can see on the backing, in some spots, it's thicker. But look at the holes. Five holes. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't, I can see you right through this. Now, one, two, three, oh, maybe six. One, eh. I think one of them I didn't miss. I think it hit the support. But this thing from like 15 or 20 feet away shot through wood. Wood. It blew through, not just, didn't just stick, you know, or bounce off. And I wasn't perfect. I had two close to three close to the bullseye. And I wasn't really going for that. I wanted to see the power. And I knew um, it'd be. Oh, okay. One did hit up here with a duct tape. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. There it is. It's five. And I know I didn't miss the target. I, I know one hit somewhere where the uh, support was. But I got five out of six through wood. Now, now that's, you know, not quite common with a BB or pellet gun. That, you know, yeah, he did go through a target, but for a revolver, uh, CO2 to penetrate thick wood. I mean, when people hit someone over the head in guitar and wrestling, it, it, it'll knock them out. And I, it, it, I, it's, I can't break it. I can't just break, you know, so... It went through this thick wood, and acoustic guitars are made to withstand a lot of tension because of the strings, so this is strong wood. I impressed the crap out of myself. I didn't think it would do, I didn't want it bouncing off of it coming back, but at a close range, and um, I thought it would at least stick. I've had that in the past with uh, uh, the same type of wood, but never go through, go through, go through. And and that's learning. Those um 
piranhas aren't as accurate, but the pointy ones are. I bet they would go through and be more accurate. I just hadn't tried them yet. I don't think a BB would. Maybe. We'll, we'll try both and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do an example someday in the future. But that's that for now. I, I, I really am surprised with the... Uh, the uh, Crossman, you know, um, SNR 357, and um, I think my, uh, by it failing and me fixing made it way better. And in the future, I'm going to just keep wrapping these with Teflon. I shouldn't have to adjust that nickel size, you know, thing with everything inside. Maybe more squirts of um, CO2. Still come, and it doesn't take nothing to wrap everyone with the uh, plumber's tape. Keep it in the box with that all your BBs and pellets. You know, and wrap one every time you put a cartridge in. You're not going to use cartridges as much now either. So you're going to save money. Your gun's more powerful. And this will probably go for any pellet gun with CO2. If you, it's not going to kill it to wrap these with the plumbers. Yeah, I don't know how to adjust others. I don't have one, but maybe the, a little shot of the uh, silicone in this would help your gun. Um, I don't know. If you like it, send some feedback. I mean, I, there's other videos that show, but they all show different ways. I kind of used three in one. I, th I thought it couldn't hurt. The gun just, it was, it is what it is. I'm done talking about that. Okay, I'm going to finish this up and uh, post it and, See how it goes. Anyways, anthrax. Ah, I'm the man.